there is a season in life for everything. You've just come out of school. You are 26. For goodness sake, what are you doing buying a bag that can pay your house rent for a year? Can we talk? You can't come out and at 28, you think you are going to have what a 52-year-old woman has been working for. She's got 30 years of hard work behind her. So if you see her come out with whatever jewelry, whatever bag, shoe, listen, she's eating the fruit of her labor. You pick up your hoe and your cutlass and start farming and put your seed in so that when you're... I was saying, sometimes you have to leave certain things. You can't afford a lifestyle. Don't attempt to leave it. Who are you deceiving? When the bills come, who is not sleeping at night? The money you are owing to look a certain way, to live in a part of town you cannot afford, to drive a car that you cannot afford, some people don't even notice your weave on or your necklace or your jewelry or your dress. They just see you in church on Sundays. They see you in your office during the week. They don't know where you live. What do we care if you say, I come from Ikeji or I come from VGC? You have a roof over your head. Whether the roof is a self-contained and that's what you can afford, or whether the roof is a 10-bedroom mansion and that's what you can afford, God has blessed you with a roof over your head. Be grateful for that and stop trying to compare yourself to other people. There's a time and season for everything. What does it matter if I wear shoes that cost 5,000 naira? If I wear an outfit that costs 8,000, why are you laughing? <laughs> you know, if my dress costs 5,000 or 8,000 naira, and guess what? If I ain't got the money to put no weave on or wig on, and I just gel my hair back, Let me tell you, the clothes don't make me, the shoes don't make me, the weapon don't make me, the glory of God, Christ on the inside has made me. I can wear anything and look good because it has nothing to do with what I'm wearing. It has everything to do with who's wearing it. And because Christ is wearing me and I'm wearing Christ, that's why it looks the way it looks. Don't let anybody ever intimidate you until you're carrying a certain label or designer. You have not arrived. Honey, my destination is glory. I already arrived in case you don't know it. <laughs>